church. Thought I'd start out outside in a beautiful sunny morning here. Um, I was just wondering, have you ever noticed how prone we are toward prejudice? Uh, you're saying, well, well, hang on a second there, Wes. Just wait, wait a minute. I I'm not prejudiced. Oh, is that right? You're not. Well, let me ask you this. Have you ever had a preconceived idea or made a judgment call about somebody before you really knew them? I'll give you an example. Years ago, I used to be into stucco. And uh, we, uh, during coffee break, we would walk down the street uh, wearing our stucco clothing. And they'd be covered in, in dirt and all sorts of stuff. And I always got a laugh out of it because uh, as I'd be walking down the street, people would be driving by and they quickly roll up their windows or lock their doors when they saw me walking. And I just laughed because I thought, you don't know me. I'm a pastor for crying out loud. I'm not going to do anything to you. Preconceived ideas. And you know, when we jump to conclusions about people, it's not a good thing. Here's what James says. James chapter 4, verse 11 and 12. It says this, Brothers, do not slander one another. Slandering means to make false charges or misrepresentations about somebody that damages their reputation. He says, anyone who speaks against his brother or judges him speaks against the law and judges it. When you judge the law, you are not keeping it, but sitting in judgment on it. There is only one lawgiver and judge, the one who is able to save and to destroy. But you, who are you to judge your neighbor? See, James was, uh, was dealing with people that were in a habit of, of criticizing one another. And basically, he's telling them, look, you got to stop. Stop doing that. Quit looking at people from the outside and look beyond that. When you criticize, when you jump to conclusions, you are breaking the second most important law, and that is love your neighbor as yourself. I'm reading a book right now by, uh, by Tass Sada. Tass was the, uh, the hitman for Yasser Arafat, and he wrote a book called The Mind of Terror. And he talks about how do we understand or how can we understand what a terrorist actually thinks and so forth. And one of the things he talks about is what do you see when you look at a Muslim person? So let me ask you this. When you see a lady with a hijab, that is the, uh, the, the head covering, or a man with a takara, which is the, uh, the little cap that goes on top of his head, when you see somebody like that, what goes through your mind? What are you thinking at that point in time? See, here's the thing. These are simple people that love that love life, they go to work, they send their kids to school, they eat, they play, they, they have needs just like you and I do, and they are very much loved by God, and God is calling us to love them as well, and not in any way to, to be prejudiced or, or to judge, prejudge them before we get to know them. I read about a, a study done in the States amongst 10,000 people, and the study put people into two different groups those that suffered from from nervousness and tensions and those that do not and the study found that those who who were fault finders who constantly criticized they were much more tense m suffered much more from nervousness than those that didn't find faults in others it's it's a good word for us folks let us stop before we judge and and consider the other person now there is a time to judge let me be very very clear about that john chapter 7 verse 24 jesus says stop judging by mere appearance but instead judge correctly in other words there are times that we need to make a judgment call but don't make it without getting to know the facts like me walking down the street there are times we need to judge a person's actions but not the person's characters galatians chapter 6 verse 1 says brothers if anyone is caught in sin you who are spiritual should restore him gently so we have a responsibility to encourage people but we cannot judge a person uh, where a person is coming from his motives we can judge actions but not motives see i can see a person who is screaming at their kids and i can i can encourage them not to treat them inappropriately but i can't judge their motives i cannot say that they don't love their children so james chapter 4 11 verse 12 is basically telling us be appropriate when we talk to people. Look at them from appropriate perspective. Don't judge them 
inappropriately. Father, I thank you for today. Help us today as we look at people around us to see them through the eyes of Christ, to see them the way you see them, people you love dearly. Help us not in any way to make judgment calls. Help us not in any way to look down at individuals because of what they look like or how they act or whatever. But Father, help them. Uh, help us to see them through the eyes of Christ. Help us to see them, Father, in a loving way. Father, I pray we today use us to make a difference in the lives of people around us. In Jesus' name, I pray these things. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.